Hello, Janet Becker's here, and we've got a really interesting episode of Romance Your Tribe Radio for you today. If you have ever wondered, how can I take an offline event that I run that is very, very interactive, high touch, in beautiful locations, that is a retreat that may be, you know, it could be for a lot of people, but it is still something that is designed to create a transformation and make people feel special. What do you do when Corona hits? And you've got to try to adapt that format so that you can deliver it virtually without it being a boring couple of days hanging out on Zoom. How on earth do you do that? Well, that's what my guest Joey Martin is sharing. And Dr. Joanna Martin is my guest on the Video Marketing Summit. 2021. Now you can go over there, Video Marketing Summit 2021.com, because it's going to be launching very soon. I've got 25 of the world's best experts on all things to do with video, from how do you get started, how do you get confident, right through to how do you attract your ideal clients, how do you create your videos, how do you set up your studios, right through to how do I get the money in the bank, baby, from shooting these videos. And the next level, like how do I really make an impact? So I've brought 25 of them together. You get to join us all for free to be able to learn from them. So make sure you go over there. Now, I was interviewing Joey about the topic of how do you enroll people in a mission? How do you start a mission and use video to make it really get momentum? And it just so happened at the end of that video, I asked her about what she had to do to adapt with the corona and this topic came up when she was talking about how she adapted to make it so that her retreat which she had to cancel it like just a couple of days before it was due that's just when the pandemic hit Um, so she had to change things really really quickly how did she create this amazing transformational experience that did not feel like two days hanging out in front of zoom so that's and so when I asked her that she just whew, really just gave gold nugget after gold nugget after gold nugget and this was just like the last 10 minutes of the interview so what I've got here for you is that little section there so if you're curious about how you can do this you're going to absolutely love today's session and if you want to get more of Joey Gold and if you also would like to learn from the other 25 speakers and some lots of really good behind the scenes things that I'm going to be sharing with you make sure you go over to video marketing summit 2021.com and you can sign up there for free um, and even if you're not running retreats that you wanting to go online you're going to get so many good ideas on how you can be making any of your group coaching calls a lot better and how you can be really making an impact with your clients okay can't wait to hear what you think of this so any um, feedback that you've got any ahas I would love to hear from you so share them down below share them as a review I would absolutely love that over there on iTunes help spread the word or come over into our Facebook group uh, the romance your tribe tribe Um, so can't wait to hear from you so come and share there now over to Joey. One thing I do want to ask you here, Joey, is we we were mentioning just before we got on Mm. that a big part about building a community and a movement and things that people want to share has been for you running these retreats, getting Mm. together in person. So, but at the moment of the time of recording, you know, there is lockdown. You can't Mm. do that. And Mm. the reality is that there is no guarantee that when we you know that when this is over that everything's going to go back to normal you know Mm. we can expect that we will be coming up with a situation like this again not in too far in the future so people need to be prepared so you mentioned that you have been running your treats virtually can you give us some tips on how you can be still having that impact in making a big difference with a movement converting your uh, your retreats into online absolutely absolutely so you know a few core principles are number one no one wants to sit in front of zoom for two fucking days right so work from that place work from that assumption 
the, it, in the beginning, we were all really excited about it. You know, everyone was really excited about it. So you go, wow, okay, this is cool. Look what we can do with Zoom. Oh, this is great. I'm talking to family members I've never spoken to for like 15 years. This is brilliant. And then we got over it. So the first, if you can operate, I remember Pete Godfrey saying, no one, you, the key of copywriting is understanding that no one wants to come to your event. And I think the key to doing a great virtual event is the same. No one wants to spend two days in front of Zoom. So it's mm. got to not feel like Zoom. So what we do, um, what we do for our events, and we've now done, well, we pivoted from a 450 women conference due to be run in London the week before London declared lockdown. So, but we called it off. We called it off before our prime minister did because it didn't feel safe. We just went, nah. And 36 hours later, we delivered it virtually here from my home studio. We wow. pivoted that quickly and launched an online program. It was a feat of, that I will forever be proud of my team doing. But, um, but what we've learned since that one, and we've now delivered three, four, five, probably eight retreats or, or one day trainings um, virtually during this period is first piece, don't let it feel like you're just at a Zoom, right? So, yeah. so we, it's got to be very interactive. We have music, I've got a music um, desk here if it's just me. I bring my AV guy here when we were allowed, we were out of that um, very tight lockdown. I would bring him here and it's like a live event. So people come, they arrive, there's music playing. My girls love to dance at, at events. We dance so much. So as they're arriving, they're putting their videos on and in their rooms, they're having a boogie, you know. We, uh, I've, got an, I've got a, my uh, co-trainer introduces me like an MC would. Then we do five minutes of chat and we're straight into a breakout room to get to know each other because what engages them more than a talking head, even if the content is great and everything is life-changing, is that connection. And that has been the connections in breakout rooms in Zoom have been what have fueled my community so powerfully during this time People have come into our purely online programs where they're not even meant to be coming to events, like Living the Change. It's all online. There's no events included in that particular program. But the depth of relationships these women have built because of coming to coaching calls and going into breakout rooms and meeting each other and talking about it and then getting on the phone to each other afterwards, you can't get away from that. So use mm -hmm. your breakout rooms lots. Drop content more time for connection is my, is one of my key things. And yeah. then music, music and dancing, like getting people engaged, asking lots of questions. Like, you know, if, if we had a live audience rather than doing a record here, I'd be saying, you know, let me know in the chat channel if this is resonating with you. Type me a big yes. You know, just little things like that, that have them respond mm -hmm. back the same way you would if you're in a, in a, in a room. Because you can't be going to breakout rooms every five minutes, but yeah. if, about every half an hour, we try to get into a breakout room 45 right. minutes at a stretch. Yeah, absolutely. Just, just wow. short ones, like six, six minutes, you know, two minutes, groups of three, two minutes per person to get them sharing. Um, and then every at least three to five minutes, I'm having them type something in the chat channel. And those things keep the engagement powerful. We've found that we can happily do two day retreats. We haven't yet gone to three days. I'm about to deliver my first three day uh, one as part of our coaching certification. We also have a coaching certification. Um, it's normally a five day intensive, but I expect we're probably going to have to go virtually for that as well. So I'm going to do three days, not five. I think five would be too much, but we can do three and then, um, and then the other rest of the content split up over a few other days. So mm -hmm. I'll let you know how that goes. But, but I think yeah. it's keep it engaging, keep it alive, keep it feeling like we're together in the room, right? Show yeah. up, laugh at your own jokes. You know, if you can't hear them, you have to laugh at your own jokes, you know, all of that yeah, kind of stuff. Right. There you go, the canned fun. laughter. <laughs> yeah. You can be your own canned laughter. I laugh at my own jokes anyway. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You have to, when you're doing video, you have to, right? Cause otherwise how, how do they know it's fun? Like it's not, we're not stand up comics where we're being deadpan, you know, it's, we've got to yeah. be alive and bring all of us to it. So absolutely. Oh, that is, I love it. How you boom, boom, boom. Yeah, that is. <laughs> So, you know, it's, you can see like I, when you were describing some of the things you do, like with the breakouts, two minutes each, share this, share that, having been to your events and crewed on your events and, and studied your events, 
that's what you're doing all the time in the room. Um, and you're always at the live events, your energy management is like top priority for mm. everybody who's running the event. So I love what you've shared there. That is really, really powerful.